It's very. Uh, I, I, think, I do capsule removal for these obvious reasons that we talked about the ruptured implant, the textured implants that, you know, are, they're, they're not really, there's really no recommendation for removing textured implants by the FDA. My, my gut doesn't feel right with that because there aren't a lot of scenarios where we know there's a risk and we'd rather wait for a patient to develop the symptom of a developing cancer to treat them. I just don't think it's that you know, um, morbid to a patient to uh, remove a device that may be putting them at risk. Although I, I don't understand surgeons that take out the textured implant and leave the capsule behind, because when you remove textured implants, you find that they are adherent to the capsules and pulling the, the textured implant out of the capsule is like peeling apart two pieces of Velcro that are stuck to each other and they shear apart. So I have to believe you're leaving some particulate of that textured surface behind in the capsule. And the capsule is, you know, the, the biologic material that forms the, uh, the lymphoma. Right. So for me, if you're gonna remove a textured implant because of those reasons, the risks, you should be removing the capsule. And you know, people say, well, we don't have proof yet that it's gonna prevent cancer. Well, we do know that these cancers don't form in people who don't have these implants. You know, I, I just don't know what the big fear is of, of taking them out. If people want implants, they can have them replaced with smooth implants, but get the capsules out. 